Hello everyone, um, here we've got a Ford Focus alternator and you're probably at this video because you're probably uh, suffering from the, the issues that my son-in-law had. He essentially he, um, he called up so that there's um, issues with the car, the light clusters or the, uh, the dashboard cluster was flickering on and off and there was odd behavior with all the electrics the relays was clicking crackling through the stereo all sorts of weird and wonderful things and you know as many people will know that's a good indication that there's issues with the electrical system however um when he got over here uh, doing approximately what about a 15 16 mile journey um we popped the bonnet and the, the immediate thing was the uh, battery was hissing and fluid was leaking out which is not a good sign for any car at all um so went through the usual diagnostics you know testing you know with the vehicle switched off initially uh the you know testing the voltage that was fine it had the, the battery had the voltage so we kind of partially ruled that out uh, and then we kind of went through the motions of seeing how this issue uh, manifested itself now uh, what we did uh, then start finding um, and this is this is a long-winded diagnostic process but you know this this video will help you cut to that chase straight away and get straight onto it uh, so we kind of um, checked on when the issue presented itself and generally uh, with the ignition and the engine started uh, you would have um, you know, potentially the um, battery warning light was on and off and on you know kind of flicking on and off and um, but when you revved the engine the dials cut off uh, and there was clicking of relays all over the place so that gave an indication obviously with the rise of revs um, you was also then getting an additional electrical problem now the only one thing really kind of that um, would uh, be rev related uh, so engine revs go up and you get a, a worse electrical problem is an alternator uh, and with an alternator uh, just as a brief explanation as uh, your engine turns over this spins and essentially generates an electrical um, charge this is rated for 80 amps at 14 volts now that was the trigger point uh, there's the label on here that will tell you that it's uh, rated at 14 volts. However, when we tested the voltage of the battery with the um, engine on just tick over, we was getting quite up to 18 volts. So something was not not right at all. Now, most well, majority of um, alternators have what they call a voltage regulator. Now, all that is housed in this part here. So we, we knew that we had that was the way the initial problem was. So to cut a long story short, um, we just went out and replaced the alternator, and immediately all the faults went away. Um, there was no problem at all. So if you have, uh, we'll just go route through them. If you've got a, an electrical issue that you're struggling to diagnose, your light clusters are misbehaving, you've got crackling through the stereo. I mean, this this is even with no music playing and just uh, you know they just crackle uh, there's too much voltage going through the whole um whole circuit of your car car uh, circuits are generally um, rated for just 12 volts that's why you've got a 12 volt battery in your car anything that is going to go above and beyond the um the volts that you're using excessively because if this is not regulated the more this spins the more um volts it's going to push through so this fails especially from the regulator side, that's it, end of story. You can, and I've seen some videos, and I'm not finding the exact one for this uh, particular alternator uh, to change the regulator. If you are a DIY mechanic, replacing this alternator, which I'll post, uh, well, I'll, I'll copy in the link of a really good tutorial uh, that I found to replace this on the Ford Focus. If you want to, go ahead and try and have a bash at replacing that. If I'm perfectly honest, it's not worth a hassle. Get, uh, we picked up a replacement alternator from a, a local a breaker's yard for, what, £10, £10-ish, 
there are thereabouts and a few other bits um, so it's not expensive the Ford Focus is a quite uh, a mass produced vehicle and you'll be able to find these um, what I wouldn't worry about too much and you will probably ask the question I'll try to find the answer you've got the spin this right way up so I can read it you've got the model number which is uh, 98AB10 Zero zero DJ. You uh, the DJ at the end. You have different variants. Um, we couldn't find an exact match of the DJ part. I think we put in a, a DC. I can't really try and find out what the difference is, uh, but we threw it in. It works. Uh, it had fourteen volts in, which all we cared about, and the eighty amps. It works. It does the trick. If we do then appear to have any other issues and we do find out the proper answer, I'll put it on the post on the video. Um, hope that helps you out.